Former Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy was passed up for a head coaching job uh, in the last two seasons. Uh, Bieniemy is yep. now what in Washington, and Sam Howell is two and zero, and they just put up thirty five in Denver. Meanwhile, the Chiefs lost their, lost their offensive coordinator, and they've struggled a bit. You've also thought Bieniemy deserved a head coaching job. Do you think it's time for the the rest of the league to admit that they've missed out on Bieniemy? I, I hate well, saying so that guy's last I, name. I'm sorry. That's all right. Here's what I find interesting. Now, he is getting some credit in the media for what Washington is doing, and he deserves it. Probably more credit than he's getting, but he deserves it. Sam Howell has looked good, and the thirty hanging 35 on that Denver defense and an 18-point comeback and Howell dropping dimes, he deserves credit for that. I still think he's getting slighted a bit in this regard. Last year, when Josh Allen struggled, what the general media consensus was, ah, uh, he misses Brian Dable. Ah, uh, he misses Brian Dable. The Chiefs offense has not looked sharp through two weeks. No one has said, oh, they miss Eric Bieniemy. You know, so I still feel like he's only getting half the credit he deserves. Yeah. Now, am I concerned about the Chiefs because he's gone? Not in the long term. I think Reed and Mahomes and Matt Nagy's there. They'll figure it out. But I do think that it is it is at least somewhat related that the enemy's gone and the offense doesn't look as sharp. I also think that his best path to being a head coach, it's a weird spot because he kind of needs Washington to falter. Because his best path might yeah. be they fire Ron Rivera and then hire, you know, or give him the promotion from within. But if they fire Ron Rivera, that's probably because Washington's offense has faltered because I think that defense right. is legit. So he's in a weird spot. But through two weeks, and I made this point before, and I'll just make it again very quickly here. Uh, the fact that if we just want to go to the Mahomes era, right? Since Mahomes has been a starting quarterback in this league, the teams and their off and their coordinators that have gotten head coaching jobs that were in the Super Bowl, right? So the Patriots had Flores and um pardon me, Flores and Josh McDaniel they're the coordinators. They both get head coaching jobs eventually. The Rams, they're, they had that year in the 2019 Super Bowl, or 2018 season, 2019. They Brandon Staley's the DC. I don't even, I think Zach Taylor's the OC. They both get head coaching jobs. The next year for the Chiefs, it's Eric Bieniemy and Steve Spagnolo. Now, Spagnolo already had been a head coach and got fired. He's a kind of a DC forever now. So, set him aside. Bieniemy doesn't get it. The Niners defensive coordinator is Robert Sala. He gets a head coaching job. The offensive coordinator is Mike McDaniel. He gets a head coaching job. His the his protege in uh, on the off on uh the defensive side for the Niners, by the way, D'Amico Ryans. He also got a head coaching job. Tampa, their coordinators don't get head coaching jobs. They're black coordinators. The Chiefs are in that Super Bowl. Obviously, we talked about it there. Uh the Rams then. It's who Kevin O'Connell. He gets a head coaching job. Cincinnati. Uh, who's the oh Zach Taylor, who came from Sean McVay. He's now the Bengals head coach. And the Eagles, both their coordinators get head coaching jobs. So it did seem wildly unfair. And I stand by all of that. And I think the early returns are showing why BNME should have gotten a longer look or a fairer look than he was getting. I understand it's early, but that's where I landed on it then, and that's where I land on it now. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show, and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts, or just click the link in the description below.